Here is 1977 D. Kennedy half dollar struck on 40% a silver planchet. Graded as AU55 by NGC. According to Heritage Auctions, this half dollar is struck on a transitional 40% silver planchet, slightly underweight from brief circulation. The silver alloy planchets were never intended for regular circulation, but only for bicentennial collector sets, struck at the San Francisco Mint. Some of the planchets mistakenly went to the Denver Mint, where they were used for 1,977 D. Kennedy halves and distributed. The visible edge on this choice about uncirculated example shows no evidence of a copper core. Wisps of gray toning accompany this popular mint error. It was sold for $5,040 on March 18, 2024. This is 1955 Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Circulated error penny graded as EF45 by PCGS. Famous die doubling is evident on all obverse letterings, the date, liberty and motto and God we trust. Doubling is bold enough to be seen with naked eye. This highly sought after error specimen fetched a sum of $2,040 on March 13, 2024 at Stax Bowers auction. 1957 D. Lincoln sent over struck on a Roosevelt dime. Graded as MS61 by Annex. Struck over a previously struck Roosevelt dime with the prior devices and lettering clear in areas. Toned with copper gold on both sides with lustrous fields and minimal signs of handling. It ended up selling for $2,585. 1963 Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus by PCGS. Type A Reverse. A beautifully toned superb gem. Jade green, golden brown, powder blue, and plum red endow this lustrous and well-preserved silver type coin. The present example is the finest certified by PCGS. It was sold for $11,162.50. Number 2. Rainbow Tone 1942 P. Jefferson Nickel. Type 2 Variety. Graded as PR68 Plus by PCGS and later approved by CAC. According to Heritage Auctions, this 1942 P Type 2 Jefferson Nickel serves as the main PCGS coin fax plate coin for the issue. I appeal is incredible with neon shades of green, blue, pink, and gold around minimally toned centers. Both sides are utterly pristine, as expected of a proof coin at this grade level. It was sold for $12,600. 1963 Franklin Half Dollar. Graded in Mint State 66 Full Bell Lines by PCGS. John R. Sinek's half dollar design featuring Benjamin Franklin was not due for replacement until 1973 according to the 25 year rule, but the shocking assassination of President John F. Kennedy in 1963 saw a swift movement to memorialize him on a coin, leaving Franklin and the Liberty Bell in the cold. This Philadelphia example from 1963 is notable for its full bell lines detail on the reverse. Bright luster is largely silver but has patches of gold and yellow toning on each side, more visibly the obverse. It ended up selling for $27,025. Number 3. 1940 Jefferson Nickel with Reverse of 1938. The Reverse of 1938 is identified by the mushy steps on Monticello, contrasting with the Reverse of 1940, which has sharply defined individual steps. The Reverse of 1938 variety is by far the rarer of the two in proof format being scarce in any grade and rare at the superb gem level. Delicate lavender and butterscotch toning paints a pastel blanket across the mirrored fields and sharp, satiny devices. No imperfections are seen. It was sold for $11,700. 1914 D. Lincoln sent in Mint State 64 Red. This one comes with CAC sticker for premium quality for the issue. According to Heritage Auctions, although the 1909 SVDB is considered the key date to the Lincoln Cent series, its conditional rarity falls far behind that of many other dates, particularly in the finer red grades. The 1914D stands out in this regard, confirming its key date status. Only 1.1 million Lincoln Cents were struck at the Denver Mint in 1914, and few high-quality specimens were saved by contemporary collectors. As a result, it is many times scarcer in MS65 red than the 1909 SVDB, and is prohibitively rare any finer. This gem ended up selling for $14,231.25 with buyer's fee on December 3, 2023. 1979 D. Jefferson Nickel in Mint State 66 Plus with full steps. According to PCGS, the 1979 D. Jefferson Nickel is a scarce issue in MS66 condition. With the full steps designation it is even more difficult in MS66 condition. In gem condition it is even scarcer than some nickels from the 1930s. There are less than 100 known 1979 D. Jefferson nickels that grade MS66 with full steps. There are none known in MS67 condition or higher, making it one of the scarcest issues for the modern Jefferson nickel series.
This superb gem fetched a sum of $2,694.38 with buyer's fee. 1986 P. Jefferson nickel overstruck on a 1986 cent. Graded in mint state 64 read by NGC. According to Heritage Auctions, the 986 of the cent date is obvious within Jefferson's hair. The nickel mint mark is sharp. The top half of the nickel date is lightly brought up. A lustrous brick red near gem that has occasional dashes of orange red on the fields. It was sold for $1,265. 1968 D. Kennedy half dollar, indented by a half dollar struck on a quarter planchet. Graded as AU58 by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, this half dollar was struck normally the first time, then a new planchet was inserted into the press, but it was a quarter sized planchet that was struck by the half dollar press first, thus the indent shows the flattened eagle of the half dollar along with Kennedy's head incus. A few surface scratches on the obverse cheek of Kennedy, perhaps from the ejection process. This error half was sold for $2,350. 1999 P. Connecticut State Quarter struck on an experimental planchet. Graded in Mint State 66 by PCGS. A fully struck medium gold example with intense satin luster to both sides. The Connecticut counterpart to the Pennsylvania State Quarter that is also struck on the same kind of experimental manganese alloy planchet. This one ended up selling for $2,880. 1939 Proof Jefferson Nickel. The vast majority of proof 1939 Jefferson Nickel struck feature the reverse of 1938 with the poorly detailed steps on Monticello. The reverse of 1940 variant, represented here, is notably scarce and high grade. CAC endorsement adds to its appeal. Liquid like reflectivity in the fields complements sharp detail throughout the devices, but the hallmark of this piece is the beautiful multicolor toning that graces each side. I appeal is outstanding. It fetched a sum of $15,600. Thanks for diving into the world of rare Jefferson Nichols with us. If you enjoyed uncovering hidden treasures, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more numismatic adventures. Until next time, happy collecting!